hello guys today I'm going to show you how to configure voice IP B O I P that means voice over the internet protocol so to configure voice IP we need a router here I can choose 2811 router and uh, a switch 2960 switch and for example I can choose IP phone from here like uh, for for testing we just connect two voice IP if you can figure if you can configure two IP phone then you can configure all of IP phone right just you need to concept how to configure the IP phones here I am select two IP phones first of all we have to configure interface of router then go to router command no configure terminal and we have to configure interface fast ethernet and we have to enable DHCP server then interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 IP address here we can configure 192.168.10.1 this is a private IP address as we know guys so I can configure this router with this IP address 192.168.10.1 and uh, subnet mask which is 255.255.255.0 which is default su default subnet mask of class C no sad town guys here we can see the interfaces the changes state to up that means the interface is up mode right exit right now we have to configure DHCP pool the DHCP server is needed to provide an IP addresses and the TFTP server location for each IP phone connected to the network so that means IP DHCP pool here we have to define the pool name DHCP pool name here I am configuring voice IP that's why I am selecting voice IP I can provide voice IP uh, you can um, define any kind of name over here I am selecting just voice IP then we have to define the network which is 192.168.10.0 and subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and then we have to define the default router which is 192.168.10.1 this is the router address this is the router address one and you have to define after that we have to configure VoIF which is option then here I can select 0 to 254 but for VoIP configuration we need 150 option 150 this is mandatory for VoIP configuration then IP the router IP is 192.168.10.1 and exit then I have to configure 
the call manager express telephony service that means we have to configure the telephony service in this router for telephony service then we have to define maximum directory numbers for this we have to use this command like max tn maximum e phones we can use for example when I'm using like maximum 5 we can use and maximum directory numbers uh, 5 and the source IP should be 192.168.10.1 which is our router IP address and then the port port we can select 2000 to uh, 999 here we can select 2001 then we have to automatically assign extension number to buttons we have to define this command we have to use auto assign four to six this command is used for automatically assign extension number to buttons again we have to put this command like auto assign one now we have to configure the e phones so that means IP phone supposed to do this this IP phone is IP phone 1 and this is the IP phone 2 then we have to choose the number the uh, phone numbers we can we have to select from here and the every IP phones numbers we have to define in router for e phone 1 for e phone 1 number we have to choose number we can use like uh, 5 5 5 4 times 5 as we wish then we have to select telephone number 2 and this number I can select 666 six, six. we have to put this command otherwise router can't accept this number 6666 six, six, six. ok then exit then after the router after configuration the router we have to configure switch which is decomposition now start then enable configure terminal to configure router how we have to assign the interfaces interface range as we know this uh, switch have 24 ports the maximum uh, range of 24 but we can select maximum 5 as I wish uh, as I want to like uh, uh, all ports are enabled in VoIP then I can I have to put here the 1 to 24 but I am here choosing 1 to 5 that means the 5 ports are enabled for 5 and next uh, switch port mode access after that switch port 
voice and uh, VLAN as we know this by default uh, VLAN number of every switch is VLAN 1 then exit the configuring is done then I have to select and the antenna we have to connect then guys configuration done we have to wait few minutes a couple of minutes after the initialization we can make a call so please wait guys here we can see the configure is done and uh, the green signal is here and we can see here the IP address we get from DSCB server we can see from here the number also get from router and if I connect to this IP phone we have to dial this IP phone numbers which is here 4 times 6 then we have to put 4 times 6 from here like 1 2 3 4 4 times 6 and this is the ringing out from here the blinking and we can receive from here then the connected that means the configure is done and successfully done I think you can understand from this tutorial thanks for watching